Hi everyone, welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a Patreon. Now this video has been prompted by the new goggles that I've got, which are the Cobra X. Now they have an, a head tracker facility. So I'm gonna show you in this video how to set it up and it is, uh, it's actually very easy to do. So let's switch over to the uh, OpenTX radio and I'll show you how to do this and how to put the settings into the radio. Now let's take a look at the settings on our radio. We're going to hit the model key and then we're going to go across until we come to the inputs. Now we need to set up two inputs and in my case I've used channel 5 and 6. So we're going to just go enter into here and you can see I've just called the input uh, head tracker pan. And then you need to pick the source which is trainer channel 5. So if I just push enter again you can see we can select trainer and then we can go to whichever channel we want. So in this case, it is five. Then everything else should be default. Then you're going to do the same for the channel six, which in this case is going to be the tilt. And we'll just go in there and have a look. You can see I've picked up source, trainer, channel six, and everything else is default. Now we need to move on to our mixes. So all you do is there will be nothing shown in the mix. Just click enter and it will pop up and that's all you need to do. So you go enter and it will pick, it, pick up the channel, uh, it will pick up the input correctly. And then you do the same for channel six. Right, now we need to move on to the special functions. Now in here, we need to set up the trainer uh, mode because this is how the head tracker works and communicates uh, with the radio. So in this case, I've put it on switch. Let me come down, switch. A seat, you can see that it's activated. Now, I could put a sound on there that says you know, head tracker activated. If we're lucky, let's try that. There may be a sound for that, or I'd have to make a sound. So, let me click, go into the middle position. Let's go across, play track, play track, and let's see if we've got something that says head tracker. Let's have a look. This may take a while. Okay, have we got something that says head tracker? Doesn't look like it, does it? Hmm. What's that one? Should we try that one? See what that does. Heading hold active. Yeah, so we don't have a sound that we can use. That's a shame. Um, yeah, there's nothing there for head tracker. So we'd have to record a sound. So In post, let's pause there. You can see the files, the HT off and the HT on. They are actually there and I missed them when I was filming the video. So we could actually uh, record a sound and put that in there. So sorry about that. Um, I'm not going to record a sound now. So we will let's delete this line. Let's take that off. And then we move on. That's everything. Our radio is set up. But well, one more thing. We have to go to the first page, and we have to make sure that at the bottom. I'm going to go the wrong way. Oops, oops, a daisy. There we go. We have to make sure that the trainer mode is on master stroke jack on our radio. So then we should be good to go with our head tracker. Let me just come back out. So you can see my channels there. Now, if I get my goggles off screen, I'm afraid, let me plug into my, to the back of the radio. Try not to move the radio. There we go. So put the cable in. It's just a normal stereo 3.5 millimeter jack. Let me turn the, now when you turn the goggles on, the, the Cobra ones, you have to keep them still. So uh, hopefully you'll be able to hear this. I'm gonna turn them on and then it will beep when it, the gyro is settled down. There we go, so the gyro, so now we can move the goggles. Now all we need to do is plug it into our goggles HT head tracker out. And there you go, straight away, you can see they're working. Uh, if I tilt forward, okay, one of them. Now there is an option inside, let me just keep them still. Where we can calibrate them. So the tilt is working, but the pan isn't. Okay. Let me have a look in the goggles and then just set that. Adjust that. Mm. 
Okay, let's try it again. There we go. I just have to push the button again. So we've got tilt and we've got pan. There we go. The head tracker is working. You can see that on channel five and channel six. Quite very, very cool. I'm not going to go through the settings on the goggles because I'm sure they'll be different for every goggle. But basically you go in and turn the head tracker on. I noticed with the Cobra X, they were, it's, it's, it was uh, by default on. I'm going to turn it off because I won't be using it. I'm sure that will probably save the battery on the goggles uh, and also make it boot up quicker because the gyro is not having to st start up. Now let's have a look at this working. I'm just going to set it up on my test rig with two servos so you can see when I uh, move my head or I move the goggles, you can see the servos move. So let's switch over to my test rig. Now you can see here, I've just set the pan and tilt up onto my flaps just for this demonstration. So if I turn, there's the pan and there's the tilt. So you can see it's sending the signals through to the receiver. And there we go. It's not difficult to set up at all. I've never used a head tracker on one of my planes, but I'm looking forward to giving it a go. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments section below because I would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.